Yeah. <laughs> Meet police officer Stoker, an American spaniel aptly named. She is one of the country's best narcotic sniffer dogs, used mostly in airports to sniff out narcotics from luggage. And if you carry narcotics on you, Stoker will stalk you until you are handed in to the law enforcement officers. It is her off day today, and after the morning routine of exercise and grooming, she is back at her kennel, taking it easy. These are afraid to lose, you know. And it is playtime for officers Biko, Valda, Audi and Sonko, all sniffer dogs. They are waiting for their shift at the airport. <laughs> The kennels are cleaned on a daily basis by our police officers. And after that, they make sure that the dogs are groomed and exercised on a daily basis. The handlers then treat the dogs to a massage, meant to treat bruises either acquired from previous operations or during training. The dogs, strictly referred to as officers here, start training at the age of four months. Shortly after being listed with the National Police Service, where depending on their breed, they are classified either as attackers to effect arrest or retrievers to sniff out narcotics, firearms or explosives. Because of their agility, the German Shepherd and the Rottweilers are trained to attack and can also sniff. The Labrador and the English and American Spaniels are retrievers. These are the officers you find in airports and key government installations. A police dog can work for between four to six hours effectively, and it can do its work uh, perfectly. Every six hours, the officers and the handlers change shifts. They work five days a week and rest for two days. And although not official in Kenya, the officers on four are also ranked. To ensure respect for this breed of police officers, a tradition is inculcated on officers here. Take yourself if you are constable. Put, place that dog as if it is of a higher rank than you. Okay? Officer Jock, a retriever, is taking an agility test. Under instruction from his handler, he has to jump through these barriers in record time. Through, through, up, stay. Yeah. Just to see how fast the sniffers here are able to pick up scent from weaponry, I am given this particular pistol by the officers around here and I'm required to hide it anywhere inside this particular field to see how fast it will be picked up by the dogs. The police officers tell me to bury the gun in the ground to make it hard to retrieve. K-9 officer Oryx is the man randomly picked to find the gun. He sniffs around and within minutes, voila! Oryx then receives a pat on the chest. This is to congratulate him. K-9 officers really appreciate this. To train the attackers to effect arrest, the officers here wear bite suits to avoid injury. Then under instructions, a German shepherd charges towards him. The grip by the strong jaws of this animal could sever the hand of an uncompliant suspect. When an officer approaches a suspect with a colleague on fours, not even climbing a tree will save them. The dogs are trained to scale any heights. The Labrados, who are some of the best retrievers, will find explosives meters away and either back or sit still where they have been hidden. German shepherds, we train them for patrol duties, tracking duties. We also introduce something we call uh, wind scenting. This is demonstrated when this officer ran through the field and hid. Moments later, Officer Seuz, a German shepherd, picked up his scent and followed his exact trail to unearth him. 
and after a busy day at the Langata Dog Section headquarters, the pod officers retreat to their kennels, complete with a feeding area and a bed. They are on standby for the next assignment. So next time you utter the phrase, it's a dog's life, remember, some dogs are more equal than others. Hassan Mugambe, Citizen TV.